What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today we're actually here at Locals and uh, you guys are never gonna guess <laughs> X1 was Cyber Dragon today and I took a quick peek at the build. It's pretty spicy so I wanted to show it off and uh, he actually wanted to be on the channel so thank you so much. I'm excited to be showing this off you know we love Cyber Dragon here on the channel so uh, yeah I'm gonna let you take over. Yeah sure um, so it's pretty typical stuff to, to start the three got three Cyber Dragon, three core, three hers. Some people play two. I don't know if I really agree with that. Okay. Um, it's just, it can, can be kind of a utility card to send off of, like say with a new cover playing. Well, I'll, I'll explain later. Anyways. Okay. Uh, one Naster. I find it's not really great to draw into. You more or less want to summon it from deck. Okay. Or get it off Rampage to maybe do an extension of your plays. Um, that's the Cyber Dragon stuff. Okay. Why? Um, honorary Cyber Dragon. How did you feel about this? I know a lot of people have been cutting it. It's still good. It's still good. It's also another target for the card we're playing in the build. Well, okay. Um, for kind of the extra stuff, we have Regulus for Clockwork. And this is something I'm not seeing everybody do, but I play the Gizmic Orochi. Okay, so this is spicy. So the idea is like, it's an OTK or bus kind of build. And this is just an extra free body you can throw on the board. And you could summon it on their turn, on their end phrase, and then your turn, banish three from the extra deck and pop a card. Pop a card. So it's a so little bit of spot removal. Are you always going blind second with this build? Always, yeah. Always blind second? Always. Okay. Like I, put, I side a little bit for going first, but usually want to go second. Okay. Uh, the two Jizukiru. Standard. Yeah, standard. I see a lot of play, but people play one. Like, this is kind of more or less, if I want to side, I cut one and then... Yep. It's searchable, right? And it's really good right now. Like, it's just so easy. Being searchable, it's just so easy to, to remove a negate or get rid of the towers, like, with Pearly and whatnot. Yeah. Um, the only monster hand trap we have is the Ash Blossom. Okay. It's just a general... Yeah. general hand trap okay. but that is it for the monsters okay why only two ash or will that make sense later um i'm kind of i was trying to make this deck as consistent as possible keeping okay. the numbers down and like ash itself isn't really even that impactful, impactful. i think anymore That's right. okay. um so for the spells we have the three cyber emergency the three clockwork and the three duality so duality so this is the new, new yeah. techie for this deck, okay. Yeah. The duality works with all of these in terms of the main main monsters. Okay. Right, so even if you can only get one, one Galaxy Soldier on board, say you just pitch whatever for Galaxy Soldier duality. This can now become Rampage, right? This can also become Rampage? Yeah, it's now for Rampage. So... Duality kind of almost helps you unbreak in a sense because you bring out Rampage, dump two, you dump your hers and the core, you get the core back and then you can normal summon core and make plays from there. Oh nice, okay. Yeah, so... And then the Gizmec target is, uh, this is where it gets spicy because I saw this earlier and this is really cool. Yeah, for uh, Cyber Twin. That's insane right there. So most people are, aren't playing Gizmic, they're playing the Clockwork with the Fortress Dragon. Yep. And then dwelling for the cyber twin but this is kind of like something a little extra like it's like a pseudo fortress where it's like if you're not going into this yeah, this is yeah. still right, relevant it's, like it's a little bit of a win more card like i was saying but it's it's nice option to have this an extra body and it's otk or bus man right yeah of course i mean it was pretty good for you today you went x1 today right so three yeah, one yeah my only loss was uh minadium actually okay but that that pilot seemed like he was really knowledgeable and whatnot. Yeah. He's, he's a good player. Fun fact, he actually won first place today, so your only loss was to the undefeated, the which is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Only two machine dupes. Okay, so how did you feel about two? So this is crazy to me, because as a Cyber Dragon guy, it was like three in every OTK build. Why only two? So for me, it kind of sucks to draw into. Like, I've, this, I've played two for a long time, and having too many in hand like i'd rather see some other cards like okay. one machine dupe is nice it's actually kind of like a negate bait in a way like a lot of these other cards like depending if you draw all three it's like depending on what they build you can use one or the other to to make some kind of negate bait okay um 
but it's still and another car we're playing anyways i can search it yep um the one repair plant of course the one rest system and the one overload fusion um a lot of people aren't really even playing this but it's also a target for search and in a way this can kind of become an otk on itself because you you open core or cyber dragon or just two cyber dragons makes make seeger and overload fusion you have an otk okay you know it's 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 pretty simple cyber low fusion i'm not playing i was just gonna ask about that yeah it's i find it kind of awkward like it's really awkward generally you want to use it for for twin and with the way a lot of the plays go, you don't end up with really an option to use it. Um, and, and duality is just doing what Cyberload would be doing for you anyways, right? Yeah, yeah. In That's a, fair. Yeah, exactly, in a way. So I don't really find it as necessary. Like, I was testing with it. I actually had cut rev system and I was testing with the uh, Cyberload. But, like, Cyberload is, like, never a card that I wanted to search for, so I figured like when I have everything else to search for this with core was a lot nicer yep. a, a lot better of an extension yeah that's fair um, the rest is kind of board breakers so this is your like, main engine stuff yeah this okay. is kind of more or less the main engine stuff and then we have the two talents the one thrust Two lightning storm, one harpy's feather duster, and two imprim. So a bunch of board breakers. Yeah, we hate back row. Uh, this actually, I'd make two, two thrusts and one talents if I had the card. Yeah. Like this is actually so spicy. Like, and each time I drew this, I don't know how how I drew it so many times, but like you can search like a lot of cards in it. I mean, you're searching your machine do. You're searching dupe. any of these. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it's... Uh, oh, you can search Overload, right? Too? And Overload. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. Okay. So, um, yeah, it was a super clutch card. I don't, I don't know how I drew it so many times, but every time we did, it was good. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's really good for this deck, I think, in particular. And so for this deck, it's 40 cards in the main deck? I believe it's 41, if I remember correctly. Okay, 41. 40 or 41. Like, it, I try to keep it tight. Okay. For the side, I guess we'll do links first. So the one Seeger, one Almirage, and one Anna. Standard. Pretty standard, yeah. Um, there's some like space to try other things. Yeah. So, and we have the two Nova, two Infinity. Some people have been cutting this down, and that's what I'm considering as well. Okay. For something like Line of the Light Charmer, or even Dark sometimes too. Okay. But uh, and then the one Zeus. Zeus is actually kind of optional to me because again, this, this this deck is like OTK or bust. And, uh, sitting on a single Zeus doesn't really win you the game. That's fair. Um, for the fusions, we have the, the two fortress and the one mega fleet contact use. Yep. The two rampage. Some people are playing one, I'm actually considering it as well. Um, and then the one twin for the win, and Cyber End. So why are you playing the Cyber End here? I kind of like, more or less Cyber End is just for duality with Mega Fleet. Uh, okay, and it doesn't okay. come up that often, but I'm actually considering playing Eternity Dragon. I think utility, uh, the utility with Eternity Dragon is a bit more. Okay. And then you don't really get set up to, to OTK just off of for or for Mega Fleet and, and the Cyber yeah, So like this it would make some more sense to like if I can't kill them, duality for Eternity Dragon and then and at least have that live. Well uh, yeah and then on top of that like you'll have a light and dark and gray for sure because you have the contact use yeah. this anyway. So this will be engraved you duality for for a draw and continue on your plays. Okay. So that's, that's it for the extra? That's it for the extra deck. Alright, what was your side deck looking like? This is where I think uh, building Cyber Dragon, like the side deck is very important. Yeah, the side deck, I kind of just threw together to be honest, but... Um, Let's get into it. Yeah, we play... We play a bestial package, it's a really small bestial package. Um, there's still... There's a lot of variety of decks out there, and... The seals are just so good yep. against a lot of decks. That's people, are, people are forgetting about that. I actually 
it's starting to come back inside decks a lot. And yep. Even if somebody wants to use them on me, I'll chain my own or whatever. Um, we have just two droll. Like it's still it's still good against certain decks too. Yep. Um, Cyclone for anti spell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of spell cards in the deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those. Um, this is kind of like an extra thrust target, I guess. Okay. In a sense. Like, I'm, it didn't really ever come up, so it might just be a third Cyclone. No problem. Um, the two rivalry, because you can you can summon lock people... With Clockwork? With Clockwork there and rivalry, go. yeah. That's crazy, crazy combo. And then this is like, whatever, so the 3D barrier and the one trap trick, so a fourth a copy of D barrier. <laughs> That's fair. Like, it, that also didn't really come up too much, but I play again. Things that did come up for sure were the Bistules and, and the Cosmic Cyclone. Like, a lot of the stuff for board breaking, actually, I think it resolved dro uh, Droll once too, and it ended this turn. I mean, these are really good in the stuff like Manadium, <laughs> like all of this. So. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the stuff that I've picked are kind of like a good generalization of what I like, what's out there, right? Okay. Like, it covers some bases. It's yeah. A lot more bases than just anything specific, because there isn't really anything that's like the best deck or whatever. Really so, you're just trying to get a little bit of everything? Yeah, like you you already placed like enough board breakers that like that's why a lot of the stuff didn't come up. Like the rivalry didn't come up, the dark hole. Yeah, that's fair. This came up once actually. It was okay, but Alright. Yeah. Well congratulations. X <laughs> one today with Cyber Dragon. Again, it's a deck yeah. that you don't see very often anymore, but uh the deck's still really, really good. You can and, you can sneak in there. Yeah, and I really like the addition of duality. I think duality is really, really powerful in the deck. Oh, it's super powerful. Yeah. Super powerful. So thank you for the deck profile. I appreciate yeah, no it. Problem. Do you have anything you want to say before we head out? No, yeah, thanks. I was, I was glad to show you another Cyber and Dragon enthusiast, and uh, it's fun to show show what works for me when it do, when it does well, right? Like there people don't expect this stuff, and like the deck can do well. It's, it just takes the right pilot and things, right? And, Perfect. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> congratulations again. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. But that's Banco signing out. Peace. Have a good one.